Hi everybody, it's Miss Julia again. Uh, I'm going to do another little fun little picture for you guys to do at home and share with your friends. And uh, this one's going to be in, I'm going to do it in marker. I want you to do it in pencil. So if you need to erase, you can, but I want you to be able to see it. So I'm going to do it in marker first. Okay, so I'm just using a piece of computer paper and you can use your sketchbook if you want. I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna find the center of our picture right here. And I'm gonna put a tiny little dot. Now that little dot is gonna be in pencil, but I'm doing mine in marker so you can see it. Approximately one hand width over from that dot, I'm gonna put a little oval. Like that. About a hand's width over. Now from that oval, halfway up that oval, I'm going to create a little ring. Then about halfway up that ring, I'm going to do another ring. Halfway up that ring, I'm going to do another ring. Halfway up that ring, I'm going to do another one. Halfway up that, I'm going to do another one. And then I'm going to add a leaf. Put another leaf right in here, just kind of take off the page. Just going to fill in a few leaves. Kind of link them together so they're almost like you can see a branch of a tree. So it's a little beehive. So on the little beehive, where I put the dot in the center of the picture, I'm going to draw an oval. Okay, about the size of maybe about a finger and a half, two fingers wide. And I'm going to make another oval. I'm going to make another oval. I'm going to bend them up and around, all kind of going towards the hive. Maybe have one little bee going in the hive. Then right up front, I want to put a little circle. And this little circle is about, oh, maybe like the tip of your finger, a little bigger than what the end of an oval would be. This will be a little close-up B. Okay, once I do that, I want to add wings on these guys. So I'm just going to add two little wings, two little wings, two little wings. And then you can decide, I'm going to stick out a little further. You can decide what direction you want your bee going towards the hive. So now I'm going to add just a couple little stripes on these guys. Right now you're just doing it in the pencils so that you know where you're headed. And then if you want to color it later, you can and you can erase anything that bugs you. And then this little guy, I'm just going to give him a little black top and two little wings up front. Okay. Now on that, we're going to give him a little eye and a little smile. A little eye, a little smile, a little eye. It's kind of fun. Okay, and this little guy, we're going to give him two little eyes and we're going to give him comma eyes. We're going to make him look like he's maybe looking. So we're putting little commas and we're going to give him a little quirky smile. Now on these wings, the wings would have little veins, a little bit like a leaf, but we'll get more into that when we get to color. I'm just going to put a couple in there so you can see what I mean. All right. Okay, so I'm going to um, uh, kind of look at it now, decide if I want to add any more to it. Forgot the little face on this guy. Actually, his wing is kind of in the way. Yeah, we'll give him a face anyway. There we go. Um, so. Uh, take a look at it, see if you want to add any more bees, and then we're going to start with the color. Okay, now we're going to do the color. So you can decide whether or not you want to do yours in uh, crayon, you can do it in pastel, you can do it in um, watercolor pencil or regular pencil, color pencil, um, or even in paint if you want. But I'm going to do mine in the chalk pastel. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, this seems weird, but I'm going to take a white chalk pastel and I'm going to dust the background. Just 
going in all around my bees with a soft white chalk pastel. And the reason for this is I'm adding some dust to the page so that when I put my blue sky in, I can just do little openings in the clouds and it looks real soft. So just a dusting all over the background like this. Then you're gonna take your blue chalk. You're gonna take a scrap piece of paper. You're gonna use it like a blotter. I'm gonna rub that on there. I'm gonna take this blue and I'm gonna just kind of mush it into the white chalk so it has this really soft look. So I'm just doing it like little openings in the clouds. So if I need to go darker, put a little more on my blotter paper. I'm gonna add a little more. That's kind of just a soft little sky that doesn't take up too much attention away from these little bees. Okay, now we're gonna take a little bit of yellow chalk pastel. Wipe off my chalk before I put it on here. And I'm gonna dust my hive with yellow. I'm also gonna dust my leaves at the same time. Now on the hive, I'm gonna take brown on the outside edges and down each line. I'm gonna keep the center yellow. That way it looks highlighted and you get that curve to your hive. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna smudge it in towards the middle. So it has, like, a, uh, it gives it a little more of a three-dimensional highlight down the middle of the hive. Don't worry about whether your edges are perfect because it's a hive. You know, you, you don't want it to be absolutely perfect. It has a little more, you know, movement to it if it's not perfect. Now I'm going to take my green and I'm just going to go down one edge of each leaf. And because I added that dust of, of yellow, I'm gonna take a clean finger and I'm just gonna blend it in to the yellow and you get this variation, variegated green variation on your leaf and you, so it goes from a, a bright dark green to a nice yellow green. So it just gives the leaves a little more interest. Now I'm gonna take my brown again and I'm going to just kind of in between some of these leaves kind of create the hint of a branch so it looks like it's in a tree you can even add a little branch at the end here maybe add a little bit of a branch in here okay and even on that branch you could put like a little little bud okay maybe put a little bud over here okay now I'm going to take a little yellow and I'm going to dust each bee with some yellow. I'm going to do this little guy's wings in his face. So you're going to lose some of your pencil line because you guys did yours in pencil. You can go to add it to their wings a little. Okay, I'm going to clean my fingers off so that I'm not transferring some of that color to it. And I'm going to take a little orange and I'm just going to do their little underbellies with orange just to give them a bit of shadow. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna smudge up into the yellow. So the same way I did the leaf, I'm blending that orange into the yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna do my outline. I'm gonna use a black chalk pastel. You can use a colored pencil or you can use a watercolor pencil. Um, the chalk pastel can be messy, so just be careful. I'm just trying to make mine show up a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. 
This does add, again, a little bit of a, a cartooniness to it when you put an outline, but it also makes the colors really pop. And this obviously is not high detail realism here. This is a little more animated, so it kind of suits a dark outline. Now for the bees, because you got to get in a little more detailed, you can use um, a pencil, you can use a crayon, you can use a marker. I'm just going to go back with my marker and just reinforce some of the stripes on the bees and their little faces. Some of their outlines might get lost a little too because of um, the chalk, if you're using chalk or even the crayon, and then again, just kind of add a few little veins in their leaves, or into their leaves, in their wing. They lo look like leaves, but they're their wings. And then little comma eyes on this guy. All right, now, in when you have an animated picture like this, a lot of times you want to show movement. So to show movement, we're gonna add a few little motion lines. I'm gonna give this guy a couple little spins Okay, I'm going to give this guy a few little dots, a few little dots behind some of these guys, just to show like their flight path. So if you want them to look like they did little loop-de-loops, just little dotted lines in a little loop-de-loop -loop like this, that gives them little flight paths. And it shows a little movement and it's kind of fun. The hive, you want the hive to look active, so I'm going to shake the hive. I'm just going to add little shaky lines like this so it looks like it has a little hum. And then you can sign your name and you can add a few extra things if you want. More trees, you can add little houses in the background. Uh, I'll let you decide and if you want to put post it on the Facebook page, we can share them. Okay, have fun.